SEO may seem like a complex subject, but believe it or not, it's actually fairly straightforward once you get a handle on it. While it may seem somewhat mystical or shrouded in the dark arts, perhaps, <laughs> you just need an understanding of the basics here. It's important, too, to know what you can safely ignore in the world of SEO as well. Here, my friend, you and I are going to go through three solid methods for implementing an SEO strategy immediately for your online business. I call this my small business SEO checklist. All right, now before we dive in, I should mention that this video, this post is much more strategy based or tactical. If you don't yet have a full understanding of SEO just yet, what it is and what it isn't and how search engines work, then what you may want to do is pause this video and go check out a few of my other posts and videos first on this issue of SEO to really get sort of a foundation first and then come on back to this video. Okay, now, as you might guess, there are a whole bunch of different things that you can do to improve your website's SEO. And I'll be the first to say, it's really easy to get overwhelmed here. So this is why I wanna give you my top three techniques, the three absolutely most important things that you can apply immediately to your website, to your products, and to your articles, to rank in Google and other search engines. Even just these three methods can make a huge difference for yourself and for your online business. All right, so the first big thing that you can do to get going with an SEO strategy is to begin publishing keyword targeted, helpful, valuable content for your audience. So here I'm talking about publishing articles, publishing blog posts, and even creating video content that relates directly to the sorts of things that your audience is searching for online. As you begin publishing content on a regular basis, search engines like Google or even YouTube for video, yeah, YouTube is a search engine, believe it or not, these and other search engines will begin picking up your content and ranking it in their search results. The whole key here, though, is that you have to know what sorts of keywords and phrases your audience is using when they search online. As you might guess, really what we're talking about here is research. Research is a critically important aspect of your SEO strategy, and I would love to show you exactly how to do it effectively. But in the meantime, though, something else that you can do to really get moving with your SEO is to set up something that is called a sitemap for your website. If you're not sure here, a sitemap is just a list of links to all of the pages that your website is comprised of back in the day, we would have to manually create sitemaps page by page, link by link. And of course, if anything changed or file names got changed or page names got changed, it was such a headache. But these days, there are plenty of free tools that will automate this process for you and automatically add pages and listings or remove them as your website grows and changes over time. As far as SEO is concerned, what a sitemap does is it provides search engine crawlers with exactly what they need to index all the content that's on your website all in one place. This ensures that search engines know about and index all the pages on your entire website without missing any content. All right, now the third and final thing that you can do for your online business's SEO strategy is to make sure that your website is mobile friendly. This means that your website works and functions well on things like tablet devices and smartphones and so on. But how does that relate to SEO? Well, all the way back in the dark ages of 2015, <laughs> Google, seems like a lifetime ago, Google updated its search algorithm to prioritize mobile-friendly websites. This means that if your website isn't mobile-friendly, then it's going to hurt your chances of ranking on the search results pages. The good news is nearly all modern website templates and themes are all mobile-friendly. But of course, it's always a good idea to double check to make sure that your website does indeed function well on mobile devices. So there you go, my friend. There's a look at the three most critical SEO tasks that 
you can apply to your online business right away. Again, start publishing high value, keyword rich content for your audience, set up a site map, and finally make sure that your website is indeed mobile friendly. Again, and I really wanna emphasize this, SEO isn't difficult or complicated. It's, I promise, way less technical than you think. You just need to get your head wrapped around the basics, which isn't that hard, and then simply follow the recommended guidelines, which practically anyone could do. All right, now, in the meantime, I certainly don't want to end the conversation here. In fact, you and I can continue with all of this and a whole heck of a lot more on a much deeper level over at 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. What you'll find there is your free audience attraction bootcamp. This is a free self-paced online class that I've set up for you. And in your free boot camp, it runs about an hour or so, by the way, you and I are going to dig deep into the key info and insights, the exact kind of info you're going to need to start getting found in search online, start getting found by the people that you want to serve through your online business, who you want showing up on your website. Again, it's really not that complicated or difficult. You just need the basics all laid out for you. So I look forward to seeing you over there in just a minute.